Also making Maxim's Hot 100 list, the Pussycat Dolls. And not only were we with the leather clad ladies for a steamy photo shoot, but Jason has got exclusive scoop on their new album you'll only hear here. The Pussycat Dolls have the power to make men purr. So it's no wonder Maxim Magazine put the pretty kitties at number 17 on their Hot 100 list again. Thank you. And we were exclusively behind the scenes for their super sexy photo shoot with the new Pontiac Vibe. What's up, E? We're the Pussycat Dolls. The quintet is together again after lead kitten Nicole flew solo for a while, but she's back in time for the Burlesque Babes sophomore album. It's basically PCD to the next higher level. A lot of songs for our females, our girls out there, a lot of empowering songs. To help bring the girl power, PCD's calling in the big dogs, as in Snoop, Timbaland, Neo, Pharrell, and a few surprises. You know, we are sneaky kitties. Can't tell you everything. But maybe you will tell us who's on your personal hot list for male musicians. The first person I thought of was Brandon Flowers from The Killers. Paolo Nittini. The lead singer of Incubus is Ines. Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. <sighs> For the females, Natasha Bedingfield, oh, an amazing songwriter, amazing artist. Beyonce, Shakira, Mary J. Blige, Rihanna, Alicia Keys, Fergie. Yeah, Fergie, Fergie. Yeah, girl, Fergie. Fergie. The hottest actor, <laughs> Hayden Christensen. I am really feeling him right now. I've always felt him. <laughs> I'm always going to stand by Will Ferrell. But to top it all off, George Clooney. And the ladies, Rachel McAdams, Angelina Jolie. I like Kate Winslet. Oh, and Megan Fox, she's a hot. Oh, yeah. Foxes, pussycats, there's too many sexy felines to keep up. Maxim Magazine hits newsstands May 20th.